Back now with Mike Johnson, MJ. The West is wide open this year, and it looks a lot different after a busy trade deadline. So we want you to now list it. Give us your top five contenders in the Western Conference, starting with number five. The crazy part, Gino, is a really good team. It's not even going to be on my list. So at number five, I have the Vegas Golden Knights. Yes, defending champs who went all in at the deadline. They got Hannafin and Mantha. And oh yeah, Tomas Hurdle and Mark Stone may come back. If they get back everyone healthy, if they return the same blue line, Aiden Hill and Nett and all the new forwards, they would be a nightmare. Their best game might be good enough to win another Stanley Cup. At number four, I have the Winnipeg Jets, the best defensive team in hockey. Connor Hellebuck's going to win the Vezina. They've added important pieces that make a lot of sense in Monaghan and to Foley, and they play great systems under Rick Bonus. Is their scoring quite good enough to get them higher in this list? No, that's why they're number four for me. At number three, I have your Edmonton Oilers. They've been as good as any team or the best team in the league the last half of the season. Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisett are ready to go. But I still have some question marks about Stuart Skinner in net. And can they be good enough defensively against the other top teams in the West to get them all the way there? I'm not so sure. That's why I have them at number three. At number two, I got your Vancouver Canucks. They've been leading the Western Conference in the league for much of this season. Everything's gone well. I am a little bit worried about Thatcher Demko and his injury down the stretch, but you have to like everything else about the Vancouver Canucks. The only concern I have is maybe against a team that I have number one. If they went head-to-head, -head, I think I like the number one team better, and that number one team is the Colorado Avalanche. Nathan McKinnon, Rantanen, Makar, Taves, they have been so good. They made nice acquisitions at the deadline. The only question mark is Georgiev, and he hasn't been great, but he hasn't had to be. But if he is, then forget about it. The best players on Colorado feel like they can be the best in any individual playoff series. And as long as their goaltending saws off the other guy, they will win that series. So for me, I have Colorado number one because their best, I think, is better than anyone else's. You mentioned there's only one question mark. I got a bigger question mark for you, brother. You left Dallas off your list. The Stars have got the best record in the Central Division. They're probably going to win that. They're just two points out of top spot in the entire Western Conference, and you don't have them in your top five? I told you there was going to be a good team left <laughs> off, and it was Dallas. Okay, here's my concern, Ron. You mentioned they're going to win the Central. What if they don't? That means they got to go through then Colorado and Winnipeg in some order. That will be really hard for that team. Jake Ottinger, who everybody loves and concedes is a really great young goalie, hasn't been quite as good as his reputation maybe suggests over the course of this season. And with some of their important players being a bit older, if they get injuries at all, Tyler Sagan right now, Jamie Benn, Joe Pavelski, whoever it might be, that would also be a big hit to their chances. So their path is so hard. The central is so difficult. If they don't win it, then I really think they don't have a very good chance of going far. If they do win it, someone's got to be sixth. I picked Dallas. <laughs> hey, Dallas Stars fans, remember, it was Mike Johnson who left you off the top five list. Not me, although I do agree with MJ. But it was MJ who went public with it. Vegas, Colorado, and St. Louis, three of the last four teams to win the Stanley Cup have been from the West. So it's definitely a race worth watching.